I'm not much of a teacher. I just like to share my experiences of software engineering and the like on YouTube, but Today I want to talk a little bit about what is called the Feynman Technique. The Feynman Technique in short is just teaching what you learn. Or in other words, taking a complex topic and boiling it down into layman's terms. Simple enough that you can explain it to just about anyone. This is what I want you to do after any study or coding session that you have. For my long-term subscribers, remember when I did iDev Journey? If you don't know, it was essentially when I was on my iOS development journey that I coined iDev Journey. I tracked all of my progress in learning iOS development on this channel. What I would learn that day, that week, I would consolidate into a video and talk about what I had learned. The reason I did that is because it helped me remember what I was learning in order to apply it next week, and then the next week, and then the next week. Because when you can actually understand something, you're able to remember it a lot easier. And then when you're able to memorize something, I'm sure you've been there, you've taken a final, you forget it five minutes after the final. Or even worse, you forget it five minutes into the final. That's not good. You can apply this technique to anything you learn. Are you a student? Computer science student maybe? Do this in all of your classes. Your computer science classes, your math classes, your other science classes, and the other random classes that you have to take just so you can pass. What we're about to talk about now are the steps that I want you to take after every coding session, study session, what have you, in order to implement the Feynman Technique. This is the Feynman Technique step by step and how to do it. In terms of coding, what you wanna do first is pick an emphasis within software development that genuinely interests you and start studying it. For programming, this can be a daunting decision because there's so many different options. You can do iOS development, Java programming, game development, but the thing is, it doesn't matter. You just need to focus on one that genuinely piques your interest and commit. So step one is picking what you want to learn. If you're a student, that may make things a little bit easier considering you have to learn a particular set of classes. And step two, you are learning and studying. This can be done in various different ways, but the two main ways are one, this is genuinely a hobby of yours, a passion of yours, if you will, then your imagination is gonna take you wherever it wants. You have an idea and you're just gonna use Google and Stack Overflow and all of that to your liking, even though you don't know much about programming at all, and you're just gonna figure it out. There's also another way, maybe a little bit more practical way, but kudos to those of you who can just use your imagination and start Googling things and figure it out. But the other way is a structured way. If you're in college, then this is your curriculum, your syllabus week, you learn all of your curriculum for that year, that's this. Or if you are self-taught, then you're gonna go on a site like Skillshare, who is indeed the sponsor of this video, and pick some type of development course, or if you're learning business, or photography, or videography, or marketing, or anything like that, that Skillshare has to offer, you're gonna be picking that course, and that is gonna be your curriculum. All you do is click the link in the top of the description, and. Anybody who clicks that link in the top of the description and signs up, you get two months Skillshare Premium free. I'd recommend taking a look at their technology courses to find one that matches your interest considering we're talking about learning code. Or if there's not a course on there that fits exactly what you want to learn, let me ask you, what do you plan to do with your skills once you learn them? Maybe freelancing or starting your own business? If that's the case, then I would recommend taking a look in Skillshare's business section. You can find freelancing courses and other business related courses and considering you're getting too much for free when using that link at the top of the description, I'd say there's not much to lose. Just remember when you're going through that course, Come back to this video, Feynman Technique. Now, quick recap before we get into step three. So step one was picking your emphasis in which you want to learn, you're genuinely interested in. Step two is studying it. Pick a particular topic, study that particular topic or chapter or lesson, however you're going about it. And then step three, write down what you've just learned as if you're teaching someone else what you just learned. This can be in words or pictures or diagrams. It doesn't really matter but what will really help you as well is speaking as if you were teaching a class, like a teacher in a classroom. This really makes you realize what you understand and what you don't understand. For those little pieces that you don't understand, go back to step two and study it. Repeat steps two and three where you study and then you speak and write what you just studied until you understand everything. Step number four, once you understand what you just learned, Put it into simpler terms. You may understand it on a complex level. If you're talking to somebody else who already knows this, then okay, you may be able to hold a conversation. But if you need to describe this to Joe or Sally over there, then you're gonna be in trouble. Step four is to take out the middleman and be able to describe it in layman's terms. If your explanation is a bit wordy or gets a bit confusing, then you should 
take a step back and start again till you can actually describe it in simpler terms because that means you really understand what you just learned. When you have the ability to explain an idea or topic in layman's terms, then you'll remember it for a very long time, as opposed to just memorizing and cramming for a final and then forgetting it five seconds after you leave. And that's it, that's the Feynman technique. This is something that I have used time and time again without even knowing what it's called, because I just always figured it was a lot easier to remember something when you're trying to teach somebody else. I think there's a quote that goes something like, you don't really understand something unless you can explain it to somebody else. Maybe Albert Einstein said that, maybe someone else said that. I'm not sure. So there's four steps. Pick something you really want to learn, like you actually want to learn. Step two is study that thing. Step three is write and speak while you're writing of what you just learned. Explain it out loud and in writing. And then step four, repeat it out loud or draw some type of detailed diagram until you can put it in layman's terms. Ooh, I can actually put that in simpler terms. So here are your four steps. Pick what you want to learn study it, understand it, simplify it. Boom. Done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of y'all asked me to make sure I remind you to leave a like on the video because you often forget. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. If you like code, software, engineering, or computer science, whatever else you see on my channel, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And don't forget to sign up for Skillshare for free. Not just the first 500 of y'all, but any of y'all. Don't matter if it's 500,000 of you. You can all get two months of Skillshare for free by using the link at the top of the description. Till next time, guys, have a good one. Peace.